Hello everyone, this is Sam and this will be a really short 5 minute uh, demonstration about Windows Phone SignalR Helper Library. This is something I've been working on for the last week or so and um, hopefully people will find this a little helpful. So I'm a Windows Phone developer and I'm also very excited about uh, SignalR which is an async.net uh, signaling library for persistent connections between the server and the client. And the client now does mean Windows Phone. So it also means that we could start having real-time communication between Windows Phones and a connected backend server. So uh, that's what I was uh, excited about and so let's just go through a quick demo of what I have here. Um, this is a very simple Vision Studio solution that you're looking at and I will have much more details in the documentation on CodeFlex. But essentially this has uh, three projects. Number one is the Windows Phone SignalR Helper server. This is just a simple ASP.NET MVC3 web application and I just have a few things in it, including the SignalR libraries and some views. Um, then there's a SignalR helper wrapper. This is an Azure wrapper in case you needed to take that MVC project and just host it in Azure with a few clicks. But it's not essential, obviously. You can host it anywhere. And then there's the SignalR helper client library, which is essentially a Windows Phone um, client application, which actually talks to the SignalR uh, server. So. Um, Again, let's uh, we'll talk about much more of these in the documentation. Let's just hit F5 to see how it works. Now, when I launch it, you're actually going to see a few things come up um, since this is um, a mixed project. So number one is the Windows Phone emulator because the Windows Phone client application gets deployed onto the emulator. And it's taking a few seconds. And now the website comes up. So this is the browser that's showing you the ASP.NET 3 application. And it's it's still uh, an MVC3. It has the blue templated uh, things. It's just hidden because I have a custom view and some custom CSS, which is showing you some tiles. So um, let's go into the Windows 1 application. And essentially what I want to do is just do a few very basic things um, where SignalR can help us. Things like mapping, things like chatting with somebody on the server, somebody with uh, two different phones that are connected to the same server, um, game scores and stock tickers and object things. So uh, let's walk through each one of them individually. So when I say map, you notice that I bring up um, a map of the US and it could be centered anywhere. It's just a big maps uh, JavaScript SDK. And if I hit the corresponding button on the phone, you notice that the Bing Maps control on the phone comes up. And let me hit that Share Location button. You'll notice that it puts a push pin on the phone um, because the emulator has the hardcoded Seattle location. And it also puts a push pin on the map here on the server. If I hit back, it means that I disconnected from the server and the map goes away. The push pin goes away from the map. So um, I can redo this all day. If I go in here and actually change my location using the location uh, simulators, let me back out here and be somewhere here on um, East Coast. Then if I go back in here, hit Maps and Share Location, now you notice that I am here on the East Coast because it read the location. So it's actually truly using the location services on the phone. So let's back up here and let's go into Chat. So chat is just a very simple chat room, has a text box for you to type on and then a broadcast and clear. So if I hit chat on the phone, it's going to say, give me your name. Um, let's just say it's me. And now it says, hey, I joined the chat room, right? And I can type from the web and almost instantaneously have it show up on the phone. And I could type it, type from the phone and have it, again, almost real time show up on the web. So I can have a chat between the phone and the web and the phone and another phone client, right? It's all the same. And if I hit back, it goes away and it says I left the chat room and I can rejoin the chat room as somebody else and the same thing follows. So let's go back in here and now let's go into the game score um, hub. The game score is just a way of uh, keeping track of something on the server which you want to be real time pushed out to Windows Phone applications. This could be like stock tickers and so on. In this case, I'm just keeping track of two uh, team scores. So let's just change something for team A and you see it update on the phone. Let's change something for team B and it updates on the phone almost real time. So, so that, now that's let's nice. go into the last module which is the object sync. Um, and this is a way for you to keep a complex .NET object uh, with multiple properties, with properties like integers and strings and booleans, maybe even like uh, nested objects in sync between uh, the server 
and the phone so that you can maybe accomplish more enterprise uh, type applications um, so we have a we have like a representation of an object on the server and on the phone with a bunch of properties so I'm going to change a few things here on the server and when I hit tab you notice that it changes immediately on the phone um, same with other types of properties and hit that checkbox and then all of those update real time from the phone if I go back in here and change things you'll notice that um, if I change these properties and hit that sync button they change immediately back out on the server so just a real quick and easy way of keeping uh, a .NET type object in sync between the server and the phone and all of this comes kind of free because uh, SignalR uses JSON serialization uh, front and then deserialization on the back to uh, populate or hydrate our object structures so really nice way of keeping um, complex objects in sync between the phone and, and the server. So uh, we are almost done and I just wanted to give you a quick glimpse of the four different things which I thought may be most useful for us as Windows Phone developers. This can obviously be extended and we can think of uh, a lot more applications of real-time uh, data on our Windows phones. So hopefully this was um, something, um, something cool and something uh, that interests you. Uh, so give me all the feedback that you um, have and I would love to improve on this uh, more. So thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.